Assalamu alaikum and welcome to the Path Loss 5 training series. Uh, the topic of this video is uh, how to import site list. Whenever we start a new project in Path Loss, generally we have been provided with a site list which is given by the radio team or some other team. And then we have to import this site list and then we have to start working on it. So in this video, I will tell you how we can import this site list. So when we are in the main menu of Path Loss 5 and you click on view and from view you can go to the site list. When you click on the site list, you will find an empty site list here. So when you will import the site list, this site, this sheet will be populated with whatever you will import. So from this site list menu, we can see the first option is import. We can click import. Now we have some options. If we have a, we already have a path loss data file which is extracted from, from some other path loss version or from some other person who has provided us the data. Then we can import a path loss data file. Also we can import text files for site and for links as well. And if you have a master database in Microsoft Access or uh, any other database software, then you can connect a database to path loss as well. So here I have made a sample site list using um, Microsoft Excel, which is the most commonly used uh, tool in uh, planning nowadays. And I have saved that Excel as a comma separated value as a CSV file. However, path loss can uh, pick any Excel file and it can uh, very easily import it. So I will, here I will click on the site text file. So this will open a browser window for me and here I can browse my laptop or my computer or whatever. And I can go to the file which I have made for this network. So here is my file, name is test. So I will click on test and then I will click open. Once I click open, then the import site data window will open. Here you can see that it has imported the file, but path loss right now it does not know that how this data is separated. So path loss will ask you that what kind of data separation technique you have used. Either you are using a fixed width where all the <coughs> columns have a exactly same width or you have used some character to delimit the data. So here, this is a comma separated. If you see in the name, the name is test.csv, comma separated. So we are using commas to separate different values. So here I will put delimited and then I will click next. When I will click next, it will generally go in a default because comma is a default value generally. And then it, Path loss will tell me that, okay, these are the limits of your data. And as I can see, I can scroll and I can see all the data. I can see the data is put in the right place. So I will go next. If this is not separated by comma, it is separated by semicolon or a space or tab. And I can put any of the character here. I mean, I can go to any other character as well. If there is some specific character being used and I can put that character here as well. So whatever character is being used, we will choose the character and then path loss will tell us the okay, these are the limits of your data. So when we find that the data is within limits, data is fine, all columns we can see easily, then we will click on next. Now because path loss has his own naming of the columns and our data may have a different namings for the columns. For example, <coughs> if my data is based on links, but I want to only extract site one as the site. So my data may have like here, I have site one name and site two name, but I'm interested in only site one name. So here I will click site one name and I will click on this column. So path loss will associate the site name with this column. And in the same way, I will click latitude and then I will use this to go further and then I will find the latitude information and I will click latitude 
so i will tell path loss that latitude information is in this column so by using these uh, names and telling path loss which column to be used for which of these names we can tell path loss that it can get the data from which of the columns once we have done everything like for example here i have put site name and i click this column so now site name path loss will extract all the site names from this column so in this way we can go further and we can uh, tell path loss about everything that we have if we have everything in this data then we can tell path loss however if we just have the site name latitude and longitude then this is enough for path loss path loss don't need any other information these three information are enough to import a site list so we will click next so after clicking next this is the last option here we need to tell path loss that this data some characteristics of data like for example this data is in which hemisphere like the projected coordinates are in northern hemisphere or southern hemisphere we are using meters or feet and then the latitude is north or south and the longitude is west or east generally for uh, the networks in india pakistan or uh, gulf our latitudes are always in north and longitudes are always in east so we have to put all these values we have to tell path loss okay what kind of data we have and now when we will put finish then path loss will import all the data and this data will be shown on the main window so i hope this tutorial was uh, a good information for you inshallah if you have any questions or comments please send an email to me i will reply to you you can contact me through linkedin and please subscribe to my channel so that you are aware of any new video which is being uploaded and uh, keep sharing and commenting and see you in the next video inshallah salamu alaikum